guys, it's Kay, your Plastic Free Mermaid. And get ready, because I'm about to tell you five reasons why you should give up single-use plastics today. Number one. Chemicals are added to plastics to give them various texture, shape, color, rigidity, or flexibility. So this is transparent, it's kind of hard, oh, it just cracked, classic plastic breaking when you need it. <laughs> so all of these characteristics are chemicals that have been added to manipulate this plastic into this form that we see now. These chemicals have been found to leach into our food or drink, Zoom! and then we swallow it. Number two, plastic leaches more with heat. So if you put a hot beverage into plastic or if you put plastic into the microwave, the chemical additives in the plastic are more likely to migrate into the food or beverage. So scientists have found that over 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, there's definitely leaching happening. There are some places in the world that the air actually gets to that temperature. Boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. That's double the temperature at which plastic starts leaching chemicals. So you're heating up your water, you're heating up your liquid. It's starting to leach before it starts boiling. So we definitely want to avoid hot um, soups or stews, pouring them into plastic. It's dangerous. The plastics are going to leach chemicals into your food or beverage. Avoid heat. Just don't go there. Oh my gosh, how weird. I put hot coffee in plastic every day. Don't do it. No. Plastic and heat should never go together. Nah. Or even paper cup lined with plastic, still gonna leach. Probably even more flimsy because it's such a thin little layer of plastic. Sorry. Just bring your own. Amazing, bring your own little cup. Enjoy your time. Have your coffee for there. Easy peasy. Number three. Plastic binds to fats and oils. What does that mean? Well, most of the chemicals in the plastic, this is my little container, oh. all of the chemical additives in this plastic container, they're lipophilic, which means they're attracted to lipids or fats. So if you put a fatty substance into a plastic container, bloop, the chemical additives are more likely to transfer to migrate into the fats than to stay in the plastic container. They're attracted, they wanna be with those fats. So they're gonna move into the fatty areas, either in your beverage or your food, or when they come into your body, to the fatty parts of your body. Ah! So if you have a hot beverage, like a hot cocoa, a latte, or a chai latte, boop, put that in with what? milk, pretty fatty substance, fatty beverage, fattier than say water. So the plastic in the container, the chemical additives are going to move towards the milk um, and bind with the lipids, bind with the fat in the milk. So you'll get more accumulation of chemicals than with say a tea or a black coffee. Same for food products. Oh, I'm so hungover. I'm gonna order some Thai takeaway and feel better. Wrong, you're gonna be ingesting tons of chemicals as you slurp down that pad thai. Glut, glut, glut. You may not feel it because you already feel so toxic. Your body now has to fight off all of the sin, but also all the chemicals from the plastic container that have transferred over to the fatty, greasy deliciousness. Oily pasta, pad thai, greasy pizza, cheese, some oily noodle dish. Nah, plastics are more likely to leach into fatty foods or drinks. Avoid putting fatty foods or drinks into plastic, especially if they're hot. <sighs> Number four. Lids. Avoid plastic lids. So, you have something hot in a container. It's steaming. A lot of the chemicals are releasing out through the steam. Then you put a lid on it and it traps all the chemicals that were trying to escape through the steam. If you have something fatty in there, don't even get me started. If you have to use plastic, don't put a lid on it, especially coffees. All the chemical additives in the plastic, some want to go into your drink, others are happy to release through the steam. But when you put a lid on it, they can't be released through the steam. So where do they go? Into your food or drink. Then you're almost doubling your exposure to those chemicals because you're trapping them in. If you take your coffee topless, those chemicals can escape out into the air. Maybe you've heard of my campaign Topless for the Sea. Skip the plastic lid and take your coffee topless. So this is just a reminder for those of us just starting to build the habit about bringing your own mug. Number five. 
what are the health impacts on humans? The scientists cannot ethically perform such experiments on humans. However, they can perform them on rats. Like a scientist can experiment on a human? Nah, who's gonna volunteer for that? And yet, we all, ironically, already are. Feeding rats, just like humans, food and beverages packaged in plastic and tracking the health impacts. The health impacts are far reaching. They impact not just one area of life, but many, as well as their offspring and their offspring's offspring. So this isn't just limited to one generation. All of these findings are so disturbing, considering the amount of plastic we've all been using since birth in a baby bottle, in our school lunches, in our work lunches, when we're lazy and we just want some takeaway. All this plastic that we're using on a daily basis, imagine the long-term effects of, of the intake in our bodies of these chemicals and trying to fight off these toxins. Tell us, what are the health impacts? So a lot of these chemicals are endocrine disruptors. So they can interfere with growth, with development, low sperm count, birth defects, lower population levels. All of these are tragic, especially considering we have evolved to be the most highly reproductive we can be, to pass on our best genes to our children. And we're reversing that with our use of plastic, with our ingesting of these chemicals. On top of the reproductive impacts, they are seeing that it is leading to cancer growth. There are neurological effects and there are chromosomal effects. This is really scary stuff. And it's hard, I know. We've been using plastic our whole lives and it seems to be everywhere. I only just gave up plastics because I felt like it was filling up the oceans and I didn't want the dolphins and the turtles to be ingesting this stuff and choking and dying. But now I'm learning that there are so many other reasons to give up this plastic. Not just for the turtles and dolphins, not just for the health of the oceans, not just for cleaner parks and streets, but because this stuff is actually impacting our health in a serious way. The only way to prevent it is to take back your sovereignty, take back the control of your life, and to just get rid of plastic. Feel empowered by that. Don't feel limited are scared. We have the complete control over our choices and our bodies are amazing. We can, yeah. <laughs> so we can definitely fight off these chemicals. We can definitely push these toxins out of our body by eating healthier foods, by taking care of our body, by exercising, by being vibrant and conscious consumers. So being aware of, of how we're living in our life instead of just being robots going along with the system, but realizing where our opportunities to make changes are and making those changes. So take back your life. Avoid these single-use plastics. Give them up today and feel good every time you bring your own mug, every time you bring your own bag, every time you use glass, every time you use stainless steel instead of plastic. So find alternatives that work for you. I hope this has inspired you to make some changes. Knowledge is power. Woo! So join this mermaid revolution. Subscribe to my YouTube channel below. Subscribe! And watch more of my videos to learn more of these amazing ways to be plastic free. Please follow me on Instagram, Plastic Free Mermaid, Facebook, Plastic Free Mermaid, and sign up for my newsletter, IQuitPlastics.com. I'll be sending out weekly tips to reduce your plastic use, recipes for going plastic free, I've got interesting interviews with legends. I've also got some amazing events. So I do workshops. I've got international mermaid retreats. So much fun. We sail around on sailboats, cleaning beaches, drinking coconuts, swim with whale sharks and a beautiful, amazing marine creature. So got a few international retreats coming up. Sign up to the newsletter so you hear about when those are. Have a beautiful day. Go hug someone. Go spread the word on this plastic information that you've just learned. Share this video. This is important stuff. We want our friends to live long lives and be able to have many babies. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Goodbye. I'm not a scientist. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> always do your own research. All of this is based on interviews with scientists. I'm posting all my interviews with the scientists. They're incredible. They're amazing. This is just a little nutshell. Look after yourself and make your own decisions. Do your own research.